Okay, so I had to come to town this morning to send off an Etsy order. Um, and I just couldn't resist while I was at it popping into one of my local um, op shops or thrift shops as you call them in some places. And there we, we can see the city mission truck delivering a few few items while I'm sitting here. Um, so I'll jump out of the car in a second and I will try and take you inside but depends how many people are in there I get a little bit embarrassed. Um, but if there's a lot of people in there I might just act as though I'm talking to someone on the phone while I'm filming sneakily. We'll see how that goes. I'll be back shortly. So here we are at the Burnie City Mission and I'm just going to show you a few things in the window. Sorry about the huge glare. Oh, but check out these lovely wedding dresses. Oh, you can't see. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is beautiful. What a pity it's so glary. Vintage wedding. Oh. oh God. Oh, look at that one. Oh, they're all vintage. Do I need to take some wedding dresses home with me? No, I'm not getting married. But that one with the cream lace. Oh my lord. Tempting. Very tempting. Okay. What else have we got in the window here? We have some shoes. Bags. Oh, they're cute. I bet you they're not in my size. I've got a walking size 11 foot. Uh, I'm not expecting to find a huge amount of items in here today because... Noisy truck going past. Because I'm a size 20 to 22. But I might find a few cute pieces for my daughter. So I'll head around to the front of the store and I'll meet you there. in a little while. Here's a relic. Monday. No crosses. Ten dollars for sale. Oh, that one was. Oh, here's a cute little bit of tray coffee. Coffee tin for two dollars. That's quite nice. Okay. Wander along the home decor. <laughs> you probably can't hear me. Nice with the eucalyptus leaves. I might pop for that as well. I can only have baskets here in Tasmania. So it's a little bit awkward to carry everything around. <coughs> a nice oriental tray. It's quite cute. Lots of frames of pictures. I often find goodies in this section. That's nice. Not 
Something is really standing out today so far, except oh. $8.50. Very cute. Hmm. I'll try not to film anybody. It doesn't always work. So I just glance now. Oh, home decor. Cash box. <laughs> Candy. Very busy down this end, so I might head up towards the clothing in a moment. What on earth are these? Thanks. Check out those <laughs> big animals. Sheep, we might have to take this home with us. Five hundred dollars reward for the apprehension of Ned Kelly. Okay, this one's going in the basket. And things. Oh, in the basket it goes. <coughs> okay, here in the sun patterns. Nice footage one. Interesting. 
Hang a moment. Sorry. See if anything jumps out. Pants. Okay. Well, it is spring here in Tasmania. find something with an autumn vibe. Okay, so it's 22 to 24. It's very nice, but not sure. That's very groovy. Sunrise. Never heard of that label before. It's quite soft and warm. I'd have to try that one on. Some nice shirts. Not really my style. Yet. Ooh, screech. Bit of groovy. Hmm. Green, love green. Not big enough. What else have we got? We've got the size 14 aisle. We've got the size 12 aisle. Not our sizes. 6, 8, and 10. Oh boy, check 
eyes out. My giant. I really don't think they'll fit my daughter, but can I leave them? Maybe not. Okay, they've just gone under the arm. They've got to be cool, covered in leaves. Urban collection. Quite nice, I don't think my daughter would like them. Now we're into the size eights. Very little. Not sure about those. They're only from Target. Nothing special. I wonder what it makes great Dorothy slippers, but I don't think they're big enough. Skirt section. I would almost die if I found a beautiful worn skirt, but I haven't had any luck so far. I found a tartan kilt in here once that was way too small and way too expensive. Now here we are at those beautiful wedding dresses. Gosh, look at that one. Holy cow. That's amazing. From there to here to here. Wow. Okay, I think we've run out of ideas here. 
I'm gonna play with here for now. Just a quick, quick, quick look in the dresses. Never really find anything. Okay, I'll leave it there. And I'm going to have a proper look at a few things and I will see you again at the end with my haul. <laughs> oh, cute little corduroy skirt. Okay. Hi, I'm back now from my little thrifting journey to Lifeline in Burnie. City mission. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I did go to Lifeline as well. Um, this this haul's from City Mission. Never mind. So firstly I picked up the Australian Knitting Collection. So this is a cute little book full of Australian knitting patterns, Australian themed. So we have things like a Vegemite blanket, <laughs> very Australian. Um, a cute kid's sweater, $500 reward for Ned Kelly. This one's very vibrant, parakeet sweater. So there's lots of bird themed um, clothing, uh, like cockatoos and um, there's also lovely pastel kangaroo sweater. I might try out a few of these patterns with some of my hand spun wool. So I picked up that for two dollars. Next up I got Fabric Lovers Christmas Scrap Craft. Why can't I say that word? Scrap Crafts. Don't speak very well today. <laughs> Nothing unusual. Uh, by Dawn Kuzik. Now this one was $3. I love a good craft. They're, they're kind of um, a little bit vintage. And we have a pocket casserole carrier. Does anyone cook casseroles these days? I do on the occasion. I generally don't take them anywhere. Um, what else have we got? I think just something a bit unusual. All oh, the good old fabric frames. We all made them in the 90s. Uh, didn't get a chance to have a whole big look through this because it was getting quite busy. Um, this apron's quite unusual. Looks like tea towel material. Um, we've got lots of quilting. Um, fabric wreaths. Candy cane cushions. Are oh, these cute? Not that I like mice in like, real life, but little fabric mice. Pin cushions. Yeah. Yeah, cute. I like that. <laughs> so, yeah, there's lots of nice little ideas to have a look through. So I'll be looking at that in the upcoming couple of months. Almost Christmas. It's absolutely crazy. So the next one I got is a beautiful vintage Caton's Woolcraft book. Now, this was, this was $5, but I think it was worth every cent. It's a practical guide to knitting and crochet, P&B wools. And it was, I am not even sure how you say, is it one shilling and eight pence, um, one pound and eight, I have no idea. But it's very cute, it's very old, looks like little Bo Peep on the cover. Um... This one has some lovely old patterns, lots of socks, 
looks like the inside's all in black and white, but that's okay. Uh, some sweater vests and cardigans. What else have we got here? Uh, the ladies' wear section. Weren't ladies back then so fashionable and lovely? Sweet little children's knitwear. And lots of hints and, and tips to help you get everything done. So I'm going to add that to my um, collection of knitting books very happily. So on the vintage ride, I also collected the this six set of six cups. And they're all autumn themed. Um, oh yeah, yeah, autumn themed. So they've got pears and apples. Um, honestly, didn't need them, but. Who can go past some autumn fall themed uh, mugs? Now I didn't really pick up anything for myself. Uh, it's a little bit hard when you're a size 20, 22 and you're very tall with a size 11 foot. Um, but I picked up a few things for my daughter and I hope she likes them. I haven't shown her yet. But I got this lovely autograph dress. Very pretty, pretty floral, um, sort of autumn spring tone, so I'm not really sure. And it was brand new. It was $8, but um, it's very pretty. So I hope she likes that. It's got the little frilly lace details. I also picked her up a pair of... Lee jeans. Now I hadn't seen Lee jeans around for a long time. Um, they're a very out there pair of jeans. Um, got this all over print, kind of paisley print or something. And they're black with a sort of a camel print. So yeah. I hope she likes them. She might not. But they were $5. If she doesn't like them, I might add them to my Etsy shop. Um, I'd say they're, they're vintage. Lee doesn't really do much in the way of clothing these days. I also just got her this pair of cotton on um, loose fit pants. They're not stains. It's just the, the way the camera's lighting makes them look a bit bleached so she'll probably wear them to bed or around the house they were only four dollars i also got this pair of shoes now i'm not sure whether tom's is short for tommy hill figure but they're these nice little wedge heels um i have tom's they have a nice pattern on the inside so they were only four dollars so I grabbed them anyway they may they may be a fashion brand but I think she'd like them either way um oh, a couple more little crafty things I just grabbed this little package of fabric that's got boats and bicycles and Volkswagen Beetles and things and I might use that to make either some face masks or some scrunchies or something to that effect. That was only $1.50. I also got this lovely little glass bowl. Now it has got a little label inside which I can't really read. But it's just sweet. I thought it was nice for... Sorry, the eyes are getting a bit sad. Two dollars. It says Australian something. Um, it was quite cute. Sorry, I'm going to have to cough. <coughs> Air conditioner is right above my head. Um, I also picked up this little package of um, crafty bits. 
So some little trims and things. I like the little berries. I'll use them in some of my craft projects. It was only you know, four dollars. Probably a bit expensive, but there's some cute ones in there. Um, I got this for my daughter and son-in-law. I didn't notice it was chipped, but never mind. It's just a, it's a dragon. It's an ashtray, but I, they just like dragons, so I thought I'd grab that for them. And it was four dollars. Now this this is a bit of an oddball. Um, with Halloween coming up, my son always, always, every year dresses as Dracula. So we've always got the old cheapo, you know, um, shiploads, um, dollar store type costumes for him in the past. But I've came across this hand stitched coat. Does need a little bit of um, little bit of repair, but it's fabulous. And I'd say it's say it's vintage. It has these beautiful big sleeves, and the, the satin lining with the velvet around the collar. So I thought that would be great, matched with just a pair of black slacks for Halloween. I hope it fits him. That was fifteen dollars, so a little bit pricey, but wow, those sleeves are just enormous. And then with it, I guess it, I guess it's Dracula's necklace. I'm not sure, but it's just this this strange little um, thing. If it was a dollar, <laughs> I guess you just wear it around your around your neck. Be Dracula. So I hope he likes those. Um, so that was the haul from the City Mission. Um, I also have something I collected from the post office, which I will come and show you in a moment. Now I'm really excited about this parcel that I collected when I popped into the post office. And the brown paper was slightly torn and gave me a little bit of a hint as to what it is. It says Ashford under there. Um, so I will try to carefully unpackage it without completely ruining the brown paper because I like to reuse what I can. And because I have a little craft stall, I like to wrap things in brown paper sometimes. You would hope. Now, oh, did you think to bring scissors? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, muscles it is. Alright. Oh, wow. It's a very big, very big parcel. to my spinning group next week so yeah it's back to front to you guys but it's the Ashford Knitters Loom which is a rigid heddle loom that folds up and um, can be popped into a carry bag which is meant to be in the box but I might not be able to get the box open because it has these huge staples Sure, if the muscles are that good. Maybe not. Anyway, so that was my fantastic parcel that I will get into later. Also, with it, I ordered 
oval because I've never never woven anything before. Um, the reason I actually thought about getting this is because I get pretty severe arthritis and it, it stops me from knitting a whole lot. And because I've been spinning for about 12 months, I have quite a collection of hand spun wool. Um, and I don't get much of a chance to do anything with it. So the ladies at spinning, quite a few of them um, do a bit of weaving and they said they'd be happy to show me how to get it all going. And so this is the book I bought with it. Uh, Rigid Heddle Weaving by Rowena Hart. So this um, just shows you through all sorts of things you can achieve with your rigid heddle or knitter's loom as this one is. Um, I think I'll be starting off with something fairly simple like a scarf or dish towels. Um, Lots of nice scarves in here, all sorts of different patterns. Ah, oh, wall hangings. Hmm. An anytime jacket. Wow. Well, I guess you weave fabric, so once you weave the fabric, you can create anything with it. This is nice, a hand woven cloak. I like that very much. Sorry, I hope you couldn't see my nostrils just then. Um, so rugs, wall hangings. Cushions. So I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this once I can get it out of the box. And of course, once I've um, started on some projects, I will pop up some videos. So that again is the Ashford Book of Rigid Heddle Weaving Revised Edition. So I'm very excited to um, give that all a go and show my kids the fabulous items that I got from the thrift shop or op, sh op shop as we call them in Australia. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I will head off for now please like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see any more thrift shop videos crafting videos lots of um, spinning um, coming up in the future now that I'm a little little better you know I'm, I'm a little more proud of my hand spun now than I was to begin with started off a bit like um, lumpy rope but I think that's pretty normal um, Lots of uh, botanical dyeing, which I've already posted a few videos. I'm trying to figure out this whole uh, video editing malarkey. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not great, but I have got a friend who's going to show me some some things in a couple of days. So hopefully, I can figure out how to how to make better videos and more, I guess, economical videos videos that aren't going to take me 500 hours to figure out how to edit them um, so if you'd like to keep up to date with anything I do I will be posting more videos so as I said like like my video subscribe add a comment anything you'd like to see um, I also have an Etsy store and a Facebook page Hawthorne Grove um, and my daughter helps me with a lot of our little handcrafted items. So anyway, I will see you all again next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.